Hi, my name is Kathy Starr. I work at Hawaiian Telecom in marketing and communications. Um, I am definitely what people would probably say is a foodie. So I love food and learning about, you know, all the new restaurants and the social life that comes with going out to eat with friends. Um, I'm also definitely really passionate about equal rights. Uh, my, my friends say I'm like, they say I'm really political, uh, but I don't, I don't think I am. I, but I do think that I consider myself both a, a feminist and a um, LGBTQ ally. I'm born and raised in Hawaii. I am a second generation Chinese American. My parents are immigrants from Taiwan. And I think that for me, what really that taught me is how to have a foot in both cultures. Growing up in Hawaii is really special. It, um, it's a place that allows Asian Americans a chance to sort of shed that cultural identity so that they can just focus on being themselves rather than needing to feel like they're a representative for their groups. It is a place where people are encouraged to openly discuss their ethnic backgrounds and um, embrace their heritage, but it also is a place that accepts everyone. So we accept one each, um, each other's heritage and we celebrate each other. Um, one of our biggest festivals every year in Hawaii is the Okinawan Festival. And thousands and thousands of people come to the festival, even if they're not of Okinawan heritage, you know, they participate in the, the cultural activities and, and everybody loves to eat, right? So, you know, the, the food booths are always a great experience. It's really interesting to me, you know, the initiatives that companies have to take to ensure diversity. It, it seems very counterintuitive to somebody who grew up in Hawaii where diversity just happens naturally because, again, the pool of candidates that you have are diverse because of the place where we live. You know, there, there's so many people from different groups that all live within a 50 mile radius of each other. So what's interesting to me about my cultural identity is that I am, again, a child of immigrants. And it took me a long time to realize how, how proud I am of my family because they, my parents came over to the U.S. You know, when they were in their 20s, they, they moved thousands of miles away from their friends and family to a, a foreign country where they built, barely even spoke the language, you know, and they built an incredible life for our family. And it really is really inspiring because it's just something that I think people nowadays would be really hesitant to do to just take this sort of big leap into the unknown.